Good morning, Palmer Ridge. I'm Brinkley Gary. And I'm Garrison Smith. Thanks for tuning into our show. Happy Spirit Week! Don't forget to dress up for this week to show our school spirit. And if you haven't bought your prom tickets yet, they're $40 each, and after prom tickets are $20 each. Future juniors and seniors, link applications are due to Miss Falkler by Tuesday, May 1st at 3 p.m. If you haven't already forgotten, don't forget to order your 2018 Epilogue yearbook. We're so lucky to live in Colorado and have many opportunities to go hiking. And Michael trekked up and rocked at more of a unique choice, the Red Rocks Canyon Open Space. Hey, Ridgeline, Michael here. Colorado is full of outdoor places to visit and enjoy, and the Red Rocks Canyon Open Space is no exception. If you're looking for a place to have fun outdoors, the open space at Red Rock Canyon must be high up on the bucket list. From trails for hiking and biking, to simply kicking back and enjoying the view, the open space is fun, not just for you and your family, but any pets you might have as well. So there's plenty of hiking trails to go explore. There's also a lot of sightseeing to do. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can go cliff diving off of some rocks at different heights. Everything you can see and do at the open space is well worth the drive. And with summer just around the corner, we're about to see some of the nicest scenery and weather the Red Rock Canyon open space has seen all year. From Ridgeline, this is Michael Rogers. Thanks, Michael. I'll surely check it out over the summer. Michelle looked behind the scenes for a current Ridgeline students, Dylan Hutchinson and Jacob Van Amberg. Many of you know Jacob and Dylan from Ridgeline, but recently they've made an appearance in the drama side of school. Here's a look into their second lives. Between Ridgeline and theater, the two work hard to make a flowing transition both during school and after. It's very hard to do both Ridgeline and drama. Obviously drama takes up a lot of my time, so as far as Ridgeline goes, it's, it's interesting. I have to use class time a lot to find a project and film a project. Um, because I'm usually at rehearsal every day, it has to it's, it, it is very hard to balance, but it's not impossible. Both classes require a substantial amount of work, especially with projects constantly being due and them having big roles in the play. For Ridgeline, this is Michelle Mutu. Thanks, Michelle. Garrison bolted and took a look at our district's robotics team and saw all the hard work and effort that these students pour into each and every robot. Robots. Some may think that they are only created by billion dollar industries and big corporations. But here in our own district, the Bear Robotics team created brilliant robots and went on a three day competition at Denver University to compete against 36 other teams for regional championship. Robotics is six weeks long for our build season. In that time span, we have to build a robot from scratch, so it's pretty intense. But we have a lot of fun doing it, and I encourage anyone wanting to join to join. Uh, you don't have to have prior knowledge, but it's a great opportunity to meet really cool people and have a lot of fun. They spent six weeks preparing and put their own time into making sure the robots ran efficiently. Although the Bearbotics did not win, they still showed the charisma and brilliance of teenagers put against time, limited resources, and pressure. From Ridgeline, this has been Garrison Smith. Thanks, Garrison. That really tightened my screws. Brinkley got a real interesting scoop about the Rock House's ice cream. Finals week is just around the corner, which means summer's on its way. So be sure to stop by Palmer Lake's Rock House Ice Cream Shop. Rock House Ice Cream Shop is located in the heart of Palmer Lake. It's a small business that's been serving its customers since 1999. The small but very popular ice cream shop serves a great variety of ice cream flavors, but they don't just only serve ice cream, they also serve lunches and have a Palmer Lake inspired gift shop in the back. We started this job last year, like right when it opened, and the reason why was like I volunteered at Palmer Lake Starlighting and that's how my boss saw me and then she, was, she messaged me on Facebook and was like do you want to come in and then I really wanted this job ever since I was little because I've been, I've been a regular here. If you ever find yourself craving something sweet, be sure to stop by the Rock House for some of the best ice cream. For Ridgeline, this is Brinkley Gary. Thanks Brinkley for that ice cold project. Well Bears, let's check out this week's forecast. Taking a look at the current surface map, we can see that there's a low pressure zone moving over Colorado, which could bring cooler temperatures and some wind. And the radar shows us that there's some precipitation over the west coast, but none over Colorado. So let's go to the five day and check out this week's forecast. Well, it looks like we'll have a windy week starting with Monday. It will be a high of 66, Tuesday 57, Wednesday 53, Thursday 60, and Friday 50 with a chance of snowy rain. Well, Bears, whether you like it or not, graduation is just around the corner, which means I'll be retiring in May. So Ridgeline's looking for a person with a little interest in both weather and television production to be next year's Ridgeline weather person. If you're a current freshman or sophomore 
and you're interested in doing Ridgeline's weather, see Mr. Say in room 2204 about applying and auditioning. And that's our show for this week, Palm Ridge. Have fun and stay safe, Bears. Hey Palmer Ridge, it's Riley Colby running for your junior class president. Want to hear a fun fact? Baby black bears are some of the most adventurous animals, and if baby black bears are, so can we be. I believe that my experience and personality will enable me to venture into unknown areas. What's most important to me is listening and communicating with you to improve our school environment. I want to increase school spirit, create new events where you guys are right by my side. I want the student body to have an opinion and a voice in more decisions to include spirit days, new events, and school dances. I want to work with you and become more adventurous like those bear cubs. Knowing that I've run over 400 miles in my life, you know I can go the distance for you, for us, and for the bears. Vote for me, Riley Colby. Hi, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Ryan Eels, and I'm asking for your support for the junior class presidency. I've decided to run for junior class president because I've noticed some areas within our school in which I believe I can make improvements. I have been in student council for two years now, currently serving as the chairman of technology. My main focus, if elected, will to bring changes to Palmer Ridge to increase our pride and spirit. Many students at Palmer Ridge feel we can lack spirit, and I believe the main way to fix this is to work with both Ridge Rage, our administration, and leaders of our sports and various clubs to create new events and activities to bring our spirit up. Our school is already ranked one of the top in the nation for academics, has many state titles for sports, and is respected statewide for our drama and band. With so many incredible accomplishments, it's important we step our spirit up. I'll also work to make it easier for you, the students, to directly voice your concerns in the school by being a strong voice and communicating with the administration. Vote for me and I promise to be your voice, to increase our pride, make PR better by the day, and to continue to top Lewis Palmer. Because who doesn't love to take down some rowdy rangers? Go Bears and vote for me, Ryan Eels. Hola, soy Jane. I'm here to get your vote for junior class president and make Palmer Ridge a better place. As junior class president, I will help lead the council in making high school a more memorable experience. I look forward to increase, increasing overall school spirit. I am proud to be a bear and want the student body to share the same passion as I do for the school. If you vote for me, all of your wildest dreams will come true. Vote Jane. Hasta luego, osos!